Hey there, it's Bobby Legs, and welcome to another episode of Bobby Legs Loves Watches. And today, you and I will be taking a look at the Circula Pro Flight. Now, before we get into the review, I'd like to thank my friend David for sending this watch in. He's also a subscriber. Uh, he also knows that I am a fan of German watches, and Circula Watch is a brand that I've been wanting to get in for review. This is the Circula ProFlight Circula hailing from Forzheim, Germany. So let's jump right into the review. We have a 40 millimeter case diameter, a lug to lug of 46 millimeter, case height of 13.4 millimeter, slightly domed sapphire crystal with double uh, AR coating on the underside, 20 millimeter lug width. The case here is 316L stainless steel as well as a bracelet. It is sandblasted, scratch resistant up to 1200 Victor Vickers due to the special treatment. And you see this common with a lot of German brands. Uh, they apply this coating on here uh, for their tool watches, which is really appreciated, especially, you know, these watches are meant to be worn every day. So uh, some resistance, scratch resistance is, resistance is very, very nice. Now, this is a very interesting case for a pilot. Typically, when I think of a pilot watch, I think of like an oversized um, round dial watch, right? Um, that is very, very legible. Now, this is very, very legible, but we have a 40 millimeter case uh, diameter. So typically when I think of pilot watches, again, I think of 42, 45 for sure millimeter watches just to grab the attention of the pilot. It was a, it was a useful tool for, for pilots uh, back in the day, especially before uh, instrumentation. And so you have this case with uh, a lot of hard edges um, an interesting design, a pebbled look on the flanks of the case, which is really, really interesting. Now, this watch weighs on the bracelet 170 grams, 95 grams on the sailcloth strap, the nylon sailcloth strap. The uh, bracelet slightly tapers down to a milled clasp, and it has a double push button deployment with three micro adjust as you can see here the case back is embossed and you have a propeller um and uh, designed engraved in there the watch uh, is powered by the salita sw200-1 a 26 000, 26 joule 28,800 beats per hour 41 hour power reserve an adjusted minus five to plus seven seconds a day. The movement is protected by uh, a soft iron cage for anti-magnetic protection up to 800 or eight, I'm sorry, 80,000 AMs. And it features the Inca block shock protection. As you can see here, quick release spring bar. So you can get out of this bracelet and into the nylon strap. You can remove the links uh, via via screwdriver, which is also very, very nice. Um, the crown is also embossed and you have uh, BGW9 Superlumen over there. Uh, the onion style crown is very, very grippy. And so you unscrew the crown. It is a screw down crown with 150 meter water resistance. The first position will wind it and it's a nice smooth wind. Second position will adjust the time as you can see now let's get talking about that dial the dial it this is a blue dial let me just finish screwing this in here um and um it, it's a very uh layered look you have concentric circles in the middle of the dial with a circular up there in the total composition and the uh, pro flight automatic just underneath on top of the six o'clock position uh, on the outer ring, you also have this pebbled look kind of matching the pebbled look that you have on the flanks, which is a nice uh, touch. The um, the indices, the hour indices, they are applied and they um, are um, steeped uh, on the dial. I think that's the best way I could describe it. So it gives you a, a really nice depth. Uh, to the dial, having the uh, indices raised and filled with that BG9 Super Luminova sword hands here, also filled by the BG9 Super uh, Luminova and the second hand with the 
orange base matching the ProFlight color there. Uh, very, very compelling dial and an interesting look for sure um, for a pilot's watch. I think the only thing that I, uh, I found kind of uh, peculiar and uh, might be my only gripe with this watch, and it's a small one, uh, the bracelet where the bracelet meets the case. It, um, I like to see more of a, a flushed end link that kind of meets the case uh, smoothly. And here, it, uh, it doesn't appear to do that. Now, I'm not really sure. I mean, maybe it's a different type of design that look they were going for. Um, but uh, I would like to see that end link kind of meet just underneath the bezel to match the top of the case there where the case meets the bezel. bezel. But other than that, this is a very nice piece. And for slightly over $1,000, um, I think it's a, a, it's a really, really great value. Um, it is a little top heavy on, on the wrist, um, but nothing to... Uh, not a deal breaker per se. I mean, the way the weight is distributed, it feels like it's distributed across the wrist. There's no like single point where it feels heavier. It just feels like it sits nice on top. I mean, this is a watch that's on, on the heavy side for sure, um, but it is a, a great, great look. And um, I'm really impressed uh, being the first circular watch that I've had in for review with the piece. Wasn't really sure what to expect. Um, you know, I have I have, uh, you know, an inkling and, and, and liking to German watches, so that's probably a helpful factor. Um, but I think uh, this watch is very, very well done. Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Please leave a comment in the uh, comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.